Sometimes I think we could play a thousand games and they would all be the same. At least if we played them right, they would be. The pieces haven't even moved yet, but the game is already done. It was finished before the board even touched the table. You might ask why I even bother playing at all. I wish I could tell you. The strategies do not age, do not change. They are identical and untouchable. They need only the eyes, the thoughts, the fingers to give them life. We both know where the game is going, where the last frantic pieces will fall into place. We both know, but we won't whisper a word about it. The battle is far too beautiful to be disturbed by even a single word. Black and white, such strong colors, such strong words. As certain and absolute is darkness and light. The colors beg notions of good and evil, but these are terms that should never be seen on a chessboard. They are terms for children and trembling soldiers, not for gods and generals. Chess pieces cannot fear. They have no need for prayers, priests, or wives to kiss them goodbye. They need no flags, no trumpets, no blaring bagpipes to strengthen their spirits. But they are governed by a fallible god. They are slaves to even the slightest moment of absent-minded certainty. I trust my pieces, but my pieces do not trust me. Bishops have a sacred power, deadly from any distance, supernatural in their diagonal prowess. Bishops are hungry predators, always eager to pounce from discreet hiding places. But too often do they attack with false faith. Knights, proud upon their horses, elegant and tactful in their attack. They wait for the unwary with noble patience. Even the queen envies their poise. Knights, no other pieces can serve the king like the knight. And yet, the knight is expendable as he is essential. Sadly, one must always suffer an early fall. The rooks sitting steadfast in their corners. They may wait all game to be called upon the battlefield. They wait and watch, perhaps secretly hoping their services will not be needed. Sometimes I think my king is nervously eyeing the rooks on each side, as if to say, hey, psst, hey you, you two, you're still awake, right? My queen, she demands my love, but even more my respect. Her thirst for danger is insatiable. She lives and breathes for the graceful kill. Does she feel she has something to prove? I hope not. I hope she knows that I would not be much without her. What a burden the queen bears. The feel of battle calls her name. Each time she must answer, her children must be kept safe. There is no rest for the queen, no dreams of grandchildren or kingdoms of peace. And yet she holds her shoulders so high, not even for a moment can she let herself be seen weak. Poor, poor little pawns. What they wouldn't give to be able to move just one space back. They are so quickly thrust into the fray with no hope for much more than becoming a useful sacrifice. Pawns cannot win a battle, not alone at least, and unless one lucky pawn somehow sees the other end of the board, they'll all die knowing they were nothing more than walls, traps, and distractions. Pawns. How powerless their pieces would be without their pawns. Without them, no war could be waged, let alone one. Even the queen must be envious of their instrumental simplicity. Lucky for her and the king, the pawns cannot build a guillotine. Ah, uh, the king. What a feeble and fruitless life to live, cowering beneath his crown. The king will call upon every pawn and peasant to die in his name, and in the end offer only one space to be moved with a sigh and blink of shame. Poor king. Cursed with an army and a nation he can't keep safe. His frailty is a constant and piercing pain. I am the king powerless without the people who would die in my name. Will they curse me when I am cornered into an upright grave? We could play a thousand games and they'd all be the same. At least if we played them right, they would be. And they're over before they even begin, like the eternal arm wrestle between yin and yang. There is no such thing as time in these games. I control time. The pieces know nothing of the moments that pass between action. They are held there, suspended for what may as well be centuries. I could walk away and live a lifetime. I hold their history in my hands. Four moves to the right and their Caesar is stabbed. Just one space back and he'd be flat on his ass. But this game was over before it began. And the pieces will rest beneath shaking hands. Only one move left. Stay on me. Again.